Hello, my name is Debbie Hill. I'm a sales engineer here at Sage, and over the next few minutes, we're going to see how to enter an invoice in Accounts Payable and watch this assets flow from your Sage 300 ERP into your Sage fixed assets. We'll begin by using invoice entry in the Accounts Payable module. I'm going to select my vendor number, Chloride Systems. We're going to enter the required document number and very important, the GL account must be an asset account. This is for a specific amount. Our invoice is going to be for $3,000 and I'm going to enter some details on an additional tab here. This will bring all of my information through and you'll notice this fixed assets button. This will tell my system it's not going to be used for inventory, but rather a purchase of inventory, specifically a great office couch. You'll notice there's a number of different templates that can be used. In this example, it's office furniture. My asset quantity is going to be one. This unit of measure is one. It is so a sole single couch. And this is my acquisition value. As I enter in my fixed asset value, this will flow into Sage Fixed Assets as the acquisition value. We're going to save all these details as standard operating procedures for my Sage 300 ERP. We'll put the tax, make sure everything in the document total is distributed and evening out. And we'll go ahead and close that invoice. We'll post this invoice as per, again, normal procedure. We've got our sequence post. And now the final step, I'm going to create the assets. This can be scheduled to happen automatically. However, we're going to do it manually in this example. You'll notice there was one Sage asset created, no errors. And we can go ahead and close out of our Sage 300 ERP. When we go to our Sage fixed assets, we can select a specific group of all complete assets and as I scroll down to the bottom of the list based on the pre-configured template settings here is my great office couch. We can drill into this specific asset. We have our acquisition value. Currently this is not being depreciated but again this is all based on those template parameters that we had set earlier. If you have the correct permissions this can all be changed at this time. And if you need any more information regarding Sage Fixed Assets specifically, please feel free to contact us. Thank you and have a great day.